Okay. Smith and Wesson, KWL. Review. Okay. So we have people attacking our base. Now, it's my job to defend it. The rest of our They're the people. They're small people. The rest of our group is back there in the main base. I moved up to this truck. Now, my job is to take them out before they get to our main base. So, let's go. I have my Smith and Wesson KWL. Okay. And I'll get them out. The other one's lying down in prone. I'm gonna have to move closer to get him. Go, go, go. He's moving around the truck. Got it. And that one's out. And okay. we took As them you can down. See, the mission was successful because I had the K Smith and Wilson KWL. It was so small and compact. I could get under the truck. And not have to put this, and not have to mess with the stock. So it was great to have in a mission like this. So let's go inside for the specs. Hello, this is Andrew with the specs of the Smith and Wesson KWL. Okay, the flash tire was orange, but it broke off, as you can see. It has front and back sides that are painted white. I see. And it also has a non-function. It does not work. That's what not function means. It has a little silver thing right here. That looks pretty cool. The magazine release is not ambidextrous. It's only on the left side. As you can see, the magazine has some weights in it. It holds 12 rounds. And it makes a cookie noise when it goes in. Awesome. And so does the gun when you cock it back. Sounds cool. It has a hammer that locks back. It's pretty cool. And that's basically the specs. It shoots around 230 FPS with 0.6. Maybe, I um, don't I think 0.12. It shoots around 230 with 0.12, maybe 270. It's around there. We have a chrono test, so watch that. And that's basically the specs of the Smith & Wesson KWL. Okay. This is the M14 rifle. I'm going to be going over there. And we're going to snipe the enemies because they're coming to our base. Let's go. Okay, I got this. I got that guy out. Do you oh, see dude, there's one guy coming up. There's oh, one guy coming up. This is why I have the Smith and Wesson K W L. He got raped. Okay, we're out here with the Smith and Wesson K W L. And we're going to be shooting this bright box from 20 feet. 20 feet. Okay, so we're going to take six shots at If you hit it the first four, the first four times, we'll just scoot back. Okay, as you can see, 20 feet is absolutely no problem for this. So we're going to move back to 40. He's moving back to the 40 mark. There he is. Hitting it. And it fell over. You just skim the top. Okay, let me set it back up. As you can see, it's bright. Oh, man. This is a problem. Um, stay there, box. Murph. The wind is blowing it over. We'll just use the chair. Huh? Why? So you can hear it? Okay. 
There's the sprite box. Okay, oh, no. I'm gonna take two more shots at um the sprite box. If you have enough ammo. One. There we go. Go ahead and move back. I think he's out of ammo, but um here he goes. Ooh, he hit it. Missed. And he's out. Okay, so I think they have performed very well at 20 and 40. And if I would have had more ammo at 55, I could have gotten my aim down. Yep. So other than that, this worked very well. For the CQB. Okay, so as you can see, we just did the shooting test of the Smith and, w Smith and Wesson KWL. And it performed very well in our shooting test for 20 and 40. Performed okay at 55. Um, as you can see, it works great as a slide sidearm for snipers when they get too close and it also works well just for a sidearm for any gun just in case you run an ammo it's just great to have so I would recommend this because of the accuracy um, it looks very realistic as you can see the magazine capacity you have to get a couple of these they, don't, they only hold 12 and I would recommend using point twos because point twelve, the BB sort of curve in. The wind affects the point twelves a lot more than the point twos. And another con is the non-functional safety. As you can see, let me go ahead and put it on safe. Okay, so as you can see, it's unsafe. As you can see, put it down. Safe. And it's down. And it can still fire. It, look, it flips itself out of safety right when you shoot it, as you can see. See, it's up now. Yep, so that's basically one bad thing about this gun. I never use the safety, so it does not affect me. The sights are very good, because they are painted white. I don't know if you can see down the sight. Yep. So they're very easy to use. Um, yep, so... Oh, and when you're changing magazines, it's great, because... You don't have to pull it, it just drops right out. Cause so it's it makes weighted. changing magazines a lot easier. So, yeah, I'd recommend you go out and buy one of these. Smith and Lesson KWL. Thanks for watching.